know, it's really going to be very little time at all before we can pay off the entire hundred thousand, and then we'll be able to be married. And, well, you know, since we found out that, everything's just been so much better. I mean, it's really brilliant. It's just so wonderful. I, and everything just has fallen into place. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. Including the L and the M's. We're only halfway through these suckers. L and M. L for love. M for marriage. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a bit nauseating today. No, not at all. You're no. entitled to it. It's just, I'm so happy. Yeah. Good. It's everything. I mean, it, it, just everything seems to be glowing. I'm glad. Maybe it's some of that will rub off on me, huh? But it's even, even these case files, I mean, it's all just brilliant. I'm happy to do it. Right. Glowing from red. Because of all the wonderful endless red tape. Oh, we're getting paid for it. I know. Hey, well, speaking of payment, um, I'm going to pay you back as soon as I can for that hot water oh, heater thing. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay? Whenever you can. No, no, I, I take it while you can. I suggest it. I don't know where the hell the money goes, Anna. Oh, houses. They just eat it up. Believe me. Don't tell me about that. We found that when we were living at Tony's. We're leaving, you know. You moving back to the brownstone? Yeah. Police just trying to find Tony a housekeeper. She's interviewing some today, as a matter of fact. You probably want to know mine. Millicent McGrath, everything you ever wanted to know. Oh, please, come in. Thanks. You must be Mrs. Jones. Your baby is so sweet. Oh, uh, she's my niece. Would you like to sit down? Uh, if you don't mind, I think I'll stand for a minute. I took the bus. Too much sitting isn't good for you. <laughs> Would you like some coffee or some tea? Mm, no, thanks. Hmm. Oh, what a lovely place. <laughs> I feel right at home. <laughs> May I hold the baby? Well, she doesn't always take to strangers. Oh, she'll take to me. They all do. Okay. Hi, hi, sweetie. Whoa. Well, oh, hi. She seems to like you. They know when you really care about them. <laughs> mm. I see you do house cleaning. Oh, I love it. It's great exercise. Keeps me in shape. Mm, not a lot right? of people feel that way. Well, that's because they don't organize it correctly. And they think it's beneath them. Not me. Cleanliness is next to godliness. That's more than just an old-fashioned saying with me. I believe it. And do you do cooking? Love it. Five minutes in the kitchen and you'll have a meal fit for a king. Dr. Jones does enjoy his food. All the more fun to cook for. He had some recipes on file from his wife. Read them once, I got them. Oh, terrific. I'll do anything with one exception. I don't do... Windows. <laughs> meat. Meat? I don't bake it, broil it, roast it, or fry it. It's poison. I see. You know, I am surprised that a doctor would let it into his house. Yes, well, thank you for coming by. I'll let you know. You know, most doctors don't know a thing about nutrition. Bye -bye. I could recommend a book on well, vitamins. Yeah. Well, thank you, you. You know, calcium is very important for babies, uh, and sometimes they don't get it in the milk. And if you take thank you very much. Supplements, you know. <laughs> How about some lunch, Barbara Jean? But I am cheese. Okay. That's fine. It's not easy looking after a child in the house. Believe me, I know. I've done it. But I can't wait to do it again. I wouldn't give up my job, mind you. Mm -hmm. Still be a career woman. Well, things are a little different, though, when you have a child. You can't imagine how much. Oh. I'm beginning to. Is everything all right with you and Felicia? Oh, yeah. Things are great. I mean, we're very much in love and we're very happy. She's been taking care of Tony's little girl, though, BJ. Does a couple always change when you have a kid? Oh, yes. But it's for the better. Oh, it is? Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that it isn't hard work and everything, and it's mm -hmm. always very demanding having a child. But then it, it's like you just begin to grow as a family. You know, like Robin and Duke and me. Uh, well... I'm very glad for you, Anna. Well, I'm very excited for you because it's all ahead of you. You won't understand until you have your own child. There'll be problems and conflicts and stuff like that, but it'll be worth it. Believe me, a baby changes everything for the better. I'll get it. And yes, hello? Is this the future, Mrs. Lavery? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Is this the future, Mrs. Lavery? Yes. It's music to my ears, that. 
Well, just keep listening, love, because the lyrics get sweeter. Well, I'm listening. I have made a remarkable discovery. Terry made a huge mistake in my checkbook. And you're happy about it? I'm ecstatic. It's $3,000 in my favor. Are you serious? I'm delirious. And what was the good news from Angus? Well, that brings us $3,000 closer to our wedding day. You know, it's not a mistake. It's a mini miracle. Oh, and there's more. The club's also fully booked for this weekend. So, how has your day been so far? Well, it just gets better every minute. Frisco and I are up to our ears in case files, but you know, even that doesn't faze me. Well, think again, Chief. Cameron, where I go? I've got to go now. my career. As you can see from my resume, I've devoted my entire life to him. Oh, I'm sorry the baby's asleep. Uh, from what you said, she sounds like a fine little girl. Yeah, we think so. Your references are very impressive. I do enjoy my work. And it says here you were an excellent housekeeper. <laughs> I take great pride in that. And you're from Pennsylvania? Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. I go back every year on vacation. Wonderful town. Strong like the steel that's made there. Is that right? Um, about your cooking. My father worked those steel mills. He was a puddler. Puddler? <laughs> That's right. Don't ask me why they call it that. You take pig iron, and then you convert it into pure iron. First, you mix it up real well, then you heat it up in what's called an oxidating atmosphere, and then you pour oh, it in. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, about your hours... Um, I yes, ma'am. That man put a mop in my hands when I was three years old, and I followed him around. Not at the steel mills, of course. At home. And that's how you learned how to clean all that. Well, you have to learn when your old man comes home every day, covered from head to toe in soot and grime. Those sisters of mine were so lazy. They'd hang around at the drugstore all day, never lifted a finger to help. Even one night during the blizzard of 75, where were they? Were they here helping shovel the snow? No, they were staying overnight at the drugstore. That brings us to Harcourt's third year. What did they say? Last mile's the longest. In this case, it's file, and we're nowhere near the end. True, true. Oh, where my love's been going today. Hello, Chief Devane here. Yeah? Hi, it's Felicia. Is Frisco there? Yes, he is. Hold on. This should lift your spirits. It's Felicia. Oh. Hi, honey. How's it going? Help. Well, first, you have to tell me what's, what's wrong. Are you sick? I am sick of running into stone walls with this housekeeper routine. Do you know how many women I have talked to today? Well, <clears throat> interviews are rough. How many? I lost count. I've had vegetarians, people who work three days a week, some who will cook but don't clean, some who will clean but don't cook. And when I thought I'd found the ideal person, she opened her mouth and she never stopped talking. Don't even have to wear earplugs, otherwise you'd go crazy. Well, just hang in there. Sooner or later, the perfect person's gonna walk through that door. If only that person's you. Will you be late? I hope not. Any chance you could make it home for lunch? Maybe. I got a pile of paperwork here. Well, I know I'm feeling sorry for myself. Really? I thought you were just missing me. Listen, I'll get home as soon as I can, okay? Bye. Well, Felicia's batting a big zero with the old housekeeper. Housekeepers? Yeah, she's interviewing for housekeepers for Tony. Oh, no kidding. My mom's looking for a job. I'll have to tell her. Really? Well, she can start tomorrow if she wants. Well, it's the kind of thing she's looking for. Well, here, have her call Felicia, really, now. Well, have her call her. Come on. I'm not sure I could get a hold of her just yet, but I will try in a little while. I promise. <laughs> well, maybe some of your good luck is rubbing off, huh? Well, I think it is. All right. That is enough for today. Why don't we clear this up and go over and see Felicia and give her some moral support? Well, she could use some. I'll tell you what, I'll clean this place up and I'll see you in a little while, okay? Okay, I'll go over. Anna? Yes. You do that. I will. Okay. Bye bye. Oh. I remember when Robin was this size. They just grow up so fast, you know. Well, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but do you and Duke plan to have a child? Oops. I don't know. I hope so. And this is one wedding I wouldn't want to miss. No, me either. <laughs> I think it would just be so much easier if I loped. Yes. 
I would never forgive you for that. No, neither would Robin. Have you decided where it's going to be? Yes. No, I haven't. That's one of the decisions that I've been put on. Oh, Anna, decisions shouldn't be too difficult for you. You make hundreds of them every day at work. I know. This is different, though. This is my personal life. I mean, this is a wedding. I've got to decide where we're going to get married, what I'm going to wear, what we're going to eat, you know. It's just... Abba. I don't know where to begin, really. May I make a suggestion? Please. You should go to the news stand. They have those bride magazines. They have a lot of good advice in those magazines, and there's beautiful gowns and some beautiful dresses. Well, you know, do you want this? I bought one of those magazines. Actually, yeah. I bought several of them when Duke and I first got engaged, but quite honestly, I felt silly looking at them because all the girls in there were about 19. <laughs> well, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but I think you've got your feelings mixed up. I don't think you're being silly. You were happy. Yeah. Maybe I'll have another look through those magazines. <laughs> Robin must be very excited for you. Oh, she is. Is she going to be the maid of honor? She is, yes, that's right. I mean, first off, I was sort of thinking that maybe I'd ask you to be the maid of honor, or Bobby, or even Camelia, but actually, Duke... Duke was right. He... I think that it should be Robin. Come here, little missy. Oh! Mm. What you got? Hi. Hi. If I knew you were coming home, I would have kept the baby awake. I gave her a bath and now she's sound asleep. Well, you know, actually, you're the one I want to see. I got a present for you. Want a drink? Yeah. I could use one. After interviewing all those people the agency sent over, you know, I could use one. I really appreciate <laughs> everything you've done. No, I don't appreciate it yet. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't hired anybody yet. Well, you can appreciate it I should have it been thanking you the whole time for everything. Wow. What a surprise. What the hell are you doing home so early? I'm pouring wine for your wife. Uh, you want to join us? Well, no offense, but I think I'm going to take her out for a nice romantic dinner. You can join us and ruin it if you'd like. Get a oh, babysitter. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I would never do that to you two. <clears throat> I have a bit of good news for both of you. I think I may have solved the housekeeping problem. Yeah. You're volunteering. You're giving up your day <laughs> job, right? No cigar. Oh. Sam's mom is <laughs> very available for the position. That's terrific. Will you do the interview? Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Well, here, let's have a toast <coughs> to Sam's mom. To Sam's mom. Keep your fingers crossed, baby. <laughs>